With the release of Pearl, Riot Games decided to rotate a map out of the pool to keep the map pool at 7. Split was the map removed, and as, as the devs believed that it had similar play patterns to Pearl. While this decision has sound logic behind it, there are various reasons for taking out any map from the pool. Valorant Ascended made a great video on this topic, in which he discussed how map integrity, map watchability, and ranked play can affect the success of a map. He got me thinking about how all maps in Valorant uh, are played, and what aspects of a map make it fun or result in vast agent diversity. Bind, for example, is a map that the community loves to hate. Why is this? The obvious starting point is the lack of a mid lane. Tax shooters usually require diversity uh, in regards to choice, and a mid lane offers variety in how a team decides to attack and defend a map. Bind's lack thereof can make it feel stagnant, especially on attack. Another reason for the community's distaste of bind is the disparity between attacking and defending. Attacking the four narrow throwing points can feel suffocating. The most prominent example of this is pushing hookah. Its elevation and cramped area can make it can feel can make it feel irrelevant to even attempts taking control over. In a game where there are a million different ways to stall pushes and clear corners, maps with a surplus of tiny areas become chaotic death traps which is highly evident on Bind. Bind is defined by its claustrophobic map geometry and the playstyle of the map suffices. Ices can take away from its supposed defining feature, the teleporters. Uh, the teleporters are a cool part of the map, but have never been fully utilized. This is partly due to each teleporter being positioned in favor of the defending side of the map, and a possible change to the map could be moving the TPs to a more central position where both sides can more readily use them and increase the overall fluidity of the map. With this change, the focus shifts from defenders stalling attackers to both sides fighting for control of the TPs, which would hopefully result in one side dictating the tempo at which the game is played. Maps like Bind showcase how small and seemingly insignificant details can massively affect the playability of any given map. It also shows the unique philosophy the Valorant dev team approaches every map with and gives the players some insight into how new maps are developed and how old ones can be altered.